Hello my friends! In this tutorial I'll show you how to paint a surreal fantasy tree. Let's begin! First we're going to do the background and for this I'm going to paint the land with the brown with just a few brush strokes and then I'm going to paint the sky using a mixture of yellow, white and a little bit of the brown that I used for the land. Now keep in mind that a good part of this background will be covered by the tree that will be placed in front of it. So we're not going to put too many details at this point. I am wrapping all up with a layer of transparent yellow and I'm blending all in. And I'm going to drag the same color on the land. I'm going to add more touch ups with the brown to enhance the land. And this is the background. Now I'm going to start placing my tree. For this I'm going to use a small detail brush because I'm going to need more precision when I'm drawing the branches. Using only the tip of my brush I'm going to do the trunk of the tree and of course I'm going to enhance the part where the tree is uh, sitting on the land and then few little branches. Now here the key is to place those branches in all the direction and to use all different size of branches. Long ones, little one, crooked, bend, vertical, horizontal, all of them we have to use as many as possible and our tree will look dynamic. Now a big part of this will be covered with leaves. Now maybe you are wondering if we're gonna cover it anyways why are we going to draw it to begin with? Well because this will allow us to see the structure of the tree. This will give us a clue where to put our leaves later on because of course the leaves go in branches. So we have to have the branches first to know where to put the leaves. Okay so we're moving on with more branches. I'm going to put here a big long branch and a few more shorter. Usually the branches are thinner on the top and as they go closer to the trunk they become thicker. I'm going to suggest that by applying different pressure on my brush. For thicker branches I apply more pressure. For thinner branches I apply less pressure. And like this by alternating those two pressures the tree becomes dynamic with every branch. An artist will study many disciplines, many subjects. For example if you are painting something that we find in nature, a tree, flowers, landscapes, then you have to spend time just observing, just looking what is the color, what are the undertones, how, what is the structure of that object that you want to paint, or if you would like to paint a building, then you will have to understand the mathematics behind it. You have to understand the proportion and what makes it stand. 
if you are painting a person then you will have to begin with the bone structure you will have to understand how what is behind the skin you will have to see what is not visible a teacher of mine was always saying that you have to begin a drawing with things that you don't see and like this you will understand the complexity of an object that is in front that's why here with this tree I'm spending a lot of time putting the structure the element that make this tree a proper tree even if it's gonna be covered with leaves we need to understand what is behind the tree what makes this tree individual and for us is the branches and what is the direction where those branches go as I am finishing the tree I inserted a mini clip showing you how I prepared my tool for the next step for the leaves I'm going to use a sponge um, this sponge this particular sponge that I'm using right now it's a cosmetic sponge so I took that sponge and in one corner with the scissors I just trim it and I cut in all the directions of course a big part of the sponge fell out and I destroy it but um, in the meantime I got a great tool that helps me to make texturized leaves that was what I was looking for at the end I press with my finger on the sponge in order to get rid of the parts that I already cut um, now you can see me using the sponge using it it's extremely easier even if the look it's very nice using it it's not very complicated so what you do first with a dry sponge you just dab it into the color and then you apply gently on on the areas where you want the leaves to be and the sponge do the work and it creates texture it will apply in a beautiful way now if you don't want to to do this um, cutting the sponge at the store there are sponges that you can go and buy there are special design sponges and they have different shapes that you can use I had some sponges like this but I don't know where they were and uh, I find myself in a position of creating my own sponge I want to say something here about the color that I'm using the overall tone it's brown but there are some areas that are darker and for that I use more black there are other areas that are brighter and for that I use more orange the reason why I alternated the two is because I want to create depth but besides that I want to create contrast with the color that I'm going to apply next now I'm moving on into the final stage of this painting as you've noticed I've changed the color but I'm using the same sponge you want to make sure that you wash the sponge with soap and water in order to eliminate the prior color before moving on you have to dry it a little bit on a paper towel and it's ready to go when we think of a color of a tree blue it's not the first thing that comes to mind it's not usual that's why I name it fantasy tree I've chose blue 
as I mentioned before, because it creates a beautiful contrast with um, with the brown, and each color complements the other one. If you look on the color wheel, blue and orange create complementary contrast. Now I'm applying few touches on the bottom of the tree to suggest there are few leaves that have fallen down. Just a few little highlights. I'm using the same blue in the same family, but I added more white to create more brightness. And I'm adding just a few little accents. We are almost done and to wrap it up I'm going to add a few splashes of blue to suggest the falling leaves. And there you have it! Please give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website at mgartgallery.com